What have you seen people doing, Sam? Just gesturing with their hands, and I found it kind of funny. Gesturing with their hands. Like that? Yeah. Okay. So what do we have? Um, a box. Oh. It's a box. A box. Is that how you do it? <laughs> okay. Sure. This is getting a little silly. Um, yes. So today we have a... Box. A box. And we're going to open it up. Okay, it's a cool looking box. Not very heavy, is it? It's a box. What do you think's in it? Probably a pen. A, probably a pen. Okay, so I don't actually... I'm not too sure exactly what this is going to be like opening up. Yeah. We're going to use the knife. Do you know what it is? Oh, I know what it is. I just don't know how it's really, how good it is, actually. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm going to open this box up. And we'll see what's inside, right? Yeah. You think it's going to be interesting? I think it's going to be a pen. First thing you notice, I'm very bad at opening boxes. Okay. Ooh. You need to trim along. I need a cup there. Or right here. A dad. Hmm? Like that? All right. You need to trim this area. Yeah, I got it. Here it is. Okay. Oh, it's well wrapped, isn't it? Bubble wrap. So, if you want, I can sell you this bubble wrap thing. No. No. No, thank you. No. Yeah. Holy cow, that's a lot of wrap. That. What's inside? Oh. It's a safe pen. Huh? It, it's protected. It's a very protected pen. Right? How much is it? That's, that's a ton. Oh, look at all that wrap. Anyway, you can go and pop that if you want. So inside... I'm never going to run out of packaging material. I know. Well, I'm going to keep it and reuse it. Yeah. So don't pop it all, okay? Oh, well. Anyway, inside is a little pen. And I got this on eBay, and I got a really good deal on it. Because it was inexpensive, because there's a couple little flaws in it. But anyway, what we have here is a Reform 4388, also referred to sometimes as the Reform Triangle Pen. If you look, the piston cap at the end is... Uh, a triangular shape and then see the cap there yeah. triangular shape what is a piston cap oh it's uh it has a piston on the end and you turn oh. the piston and a little piston moves up and up and down inside right oh. somewhere that's Let's interesting see. i'm getting used to it oh there it is so you can you can see the piston yeah so this pen was made in the 1960s that's the decade oh. i was born in long before you that's an old pen. That's an old pen. I'm surprised um, it only has a few nicks and scratches. Well, the reason I got it at such a good price is there's a crack in the cap, and it's. Actually, I can see that, but it's not very noticeable. Like well, you could probably I, just put a bit of paint over it and look good as new. Yeah, there's. Well, I'm going like to do something paint else. Paint in a gloss finish. Yeah, I'm going to eventually fix that, but hmm. there's a little bit of it's wear on the pen. on the cap band. And uh, actually, the crack looks a lot better in person than it did on online. One of the reasons I bought this pen and I got it at a really cheap price was because of the crack in the cap. And I bought it actually hoping to be able to experiment and fix it up. Hmm. It has a really nice nib. Kind of like a fingernail design nib, as you say. That looks very nice. Yeah, let's see. Very nice. It's very fine. Has a great ink window. It has a little crest on the side. I'm not too sure what that means yet. I'll have to, it looks like a fish. What is that? It looks like a crab almost. Hmm. Looks as hmm. if it has like a crown. Yeah. On so it. As you can see, the shape of the pen. There's a few little scratches on it, but we can get those out. The nib looks in good shape. Yeah. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do first is wash this pen up, and I'll test it with ink and see how it works. And honestly, the crack is a lot better than I was expecting. I thought it'd be a, a big crack, but, but the sellers, the sellers, uh, photographs, it looked worse than it is. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see through the other crack. There's another crack on this side, I think which is a little bigger, right there. But I'm going to try to seal those up and polish them down 
And the main problem with the crack is that it, it could cause the ink to, on the nib to dry out because there's a, mm. an, uh, uh, a there's um, an air leakage. And oh, there's, there's a, a cat. cat. So I got a kid and a cat and a new pen to experiment with. All in one episode. And everything's shaking. All the pens and all the camera is shaking. But anyway, this will be fun to work on and try to get going again. It's a, and if I do get it working, I'll give a review. It's a Reform 4388 from the 1960s. I got it online at a good price because there's some damage to it. But part of the fun of vintage pens is being able to fix them up. And it's a little may, a little bit of mayhem around here with all the cats and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, this has been fun showing you this pen and opening it up. And I hope you liked the video, chaotic as it is. And if you did, what do you do? Um, you open the box. No, no, no. You give them a thumbs up. Uh, you can comment. Comment. I forgot to tell and, you. And if you want more videos, um, you can subscribe. Subscribe. And hit the notification bell if you want to see when he releases more. Oh, that's good. Okay. Well, yeah, like he said. Gives you like hit, a notification. Hit like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos, just hit the notification bell and there's always something going on around here. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. There was a cat. There was a cat. There's always a cat. And a me. And a you? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's the reform. That's actually a cool looking pen. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Has a very fine <sighs> Yes. And a cat. <laughs>